What's poppin' Trey TV gang? It's your boy Trey TV. And it's your boy Lamar Wilson. And we back at you with another reaction. With this one, we got Wild Little Wayne now officially hate Jay Z and Kendrick Lamar. It's crazy sending us this video right after we got done doing a No Ceilings Little Wayne uh, mixtape. We were mm -hmm. talking about this whole situation. The reason why we did the mixtape even begin with because we heard a lot of chatter about Little Wayne, Kendrick Lamar, the Super Bowl. Um, and I think nobody was no bigger advocate for Little Wayne than uh, Nicki Minaj. She was right. came out holding her nuts, talking her ish like she talks her ish and she wasn't holding back at all yeah uh, we were saying how a lot of that came from we feel like hurricane chris when uh 50 cent was down there in louisiana on a smaller scale mm -hmm. had an event uh hurricane chris said he brought a louisiana artist no bootsy no master p no birdman no nobody and people kind of brush it off like yo you're being a hater then it comes the Super Bowl being announced. Uh, people think Lil Wayne should be a part of the mm -hmm. Super Bowl. And now everyone's coming to speak out saying the same thing Hurricane Chris did. But they're just saying it in a different way. On a uh, larger platform. A larger platform. Boosie was the first one I seen to came say something. Then it's like open the floodgates. Then you have Birdman saying, I'm going to make us respect us. Yeah. Uh, Nicki Minaj was taking shots at Jay-Z because she felt like Jay-Z and Rock Nation been have, trying to replace her with Meg Thee Stallion. Put stuff behind her. It hasn't worked yet. But it yeah. hasn't stopped him for trying, she feels, um, on her situation. So it's just a bunch of stuff that's just messed up. Um, I almost feel like people are saying Jay-Z is gatekeeping uh, Young Money. Mm. He feel like he don't want Drake to surpass him. We know Drake just came off the beef with Kendrick Lamar. What way to keep Young Money down? What better way to keep Drake down? And to put his biggest op <laughs> on the biggest platform in the Super Bowl and having the whole world screaming, not like us. Um, it's yeah. kind of a crazy situation. That's going to be crazy. Yeah. You got all the thousands of people in attendance. Millions. And millions of people watching on from screen. their homes yeah. on screen. And, and, and it's it's already one of those things you can't get away from. When yeah. you sit back and you're just in your car, if you yeah. happen to listen to the radio, it's yeah. everywhere. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And this is going to just be the perfect time to propel yeah. himself into a album drop. Yeah, definitely for the album drop. I think it's a perfect rollout. Yeah, and I know Young Money looking at it like, we, this song is finally starting to die down. Um, mm -hmm. Now, when the song keep going all the way into the Super Bowl, oh, it's gonna run, and then it's gonna run during the Super Bowl in twenty twenty five. We want to leave this song in twenty twenty four, and they not letting it happen. We know not twenty twenty five is still gonna be spinning. March of Bands is still gonna be playing. It. It's one of them ones. It's just a crazy situation, and it almost seemed like. Young Money asking Jay Z, "Are you doing this on purpose?" That's um, what it feels like at, at this point. point. Because if but if, we've known Jay Z to be petty through it. Just look at his interaction yeah, with Nas. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing about having an artist. He be releasing it on purpose yeah, on yeah. the day Nas release. Or, Jay you know Kiss said any feature he was on, Jay Z would call me like, "Yo, if you take Jay Kiss off it, I'll do the feature." Um, and stuff like that where you really don't want artists yeah. in these positions to gatekeep because artists are more worried about their legacy and what they got going on, and they feel like you're creeping up on their legacy. See if they could gatekeep that situation. They're going to yeah. gatekeep it because everybody know what it means to actually perform at the Super Bowl and what that means for your legacy. Look what it did for Usher. And look, at, and and you got to think about the the loyalty that lies between artists, man. Yeah. It's the bond runs deep. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. So it's A very easy. It's very easy, and especially when they put work in together. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. It's very easy to be in a position where I normally would say yes, but I'm going to say no on yeah. this per person's behalf. Like yeah. it happens. It happens every day. Be. Uh, can't wait to get into the video. So, our father, dude, let's get straight into this video. Chi Chi, get the yayo. Get the yayo. Ever since it has been announced that Kendrick Lamar is going to be performing at the Super Bowl halftime show in 2025, mm. the hip hop world has been in can't an wait. absolute Facts. frenzy for an array of reasons. Because on one side of the rap world, people are celebrating Kendrick Lamar and everything he's ever done. Kendrick, so Kendrick, Kendrick. A moment for him <laughs> and really the entire genre yeah. of rap music. But at the same time, as the Super Bowl is being held in New Orleans, there has been an outcry of people who are limited the decision for Kendrick to play at the halftime show, as it means that Louisiana native and rap legend Lil Wayne mm. will not be performing at the biggest musical performance that will ever be held in his own city. And now, while well, initially after this announcement, all we were able to do is try and speculate on how this decision has made Wayne and the people within his circle feel and why mm. it could have happened. As time has went on, we have begun to find out a lot of shocking information about this entire situation that is shaking up the very framework of the rap world as we know it right now because we are seeing Lil Wayne's true feelings about such a massive mm. moment being unraveled right before you our You will see his true feelings. You will see his true feelings indeed about such a massive moment. We you been, know what I'm saying? He's been yeah. thinking about this since before now. Yeah. He's been thinking about this since, since he known that it was going to be in his city. Yeah. And he made it known 
Yeah. You know what I'm they saying? It ain't like they ain't like one of the things where you didn't say nothing. Yeah. Even though, you know what I'm saying, this is the way they go about things. Yeah. But, you know what I'm saying, he made it known that this was be a big performance yeah. or something he wouldn't mind having under his belt. Especially in your hometown? Yeah. Like, why wouldn't you want... It's like being from um, New York and playing basketball for the, in the garden for the Knicks. It's a goal or a lifetime. Yeah, career. it's That's a goal. from... I'm in the same situation. A lot of people thought that he might be heading that way because uh, a couple weeks ago he was headed. He was chilling with Jay Z, Forty Forty Club. Mm -hmm. They was chilling, gallon, smiling, toasting. It was all love. So people was thinking maybe that was on the way, the but it definitely uh, didn't happen. And I hope it's not no gatekeeping that's really stopping it. I hope that people are really picking up. I hope the, the perception is wrong. Yeah, you feel what I'm saying? Because we know Jay Z don't like how he feel like Jay Z, uh, Beyonce got snubbed at the Grammys or hip hop got snubbed at the Grammys. I hope we're not snubbing yeah. Lil Wayne at the Super Bowl. Yeah, doing mm -hmm. the same thing that we've been complaining about being done. Yeah, facts. Pot calling the kettle black. But now, in order <laughs> yeah. to really understand this tension that is building because of Lil Wayne not being picked, the first thing we have to look at is from a rapper who has stayed loyal to Wayne and who has always been on great terms with him throughout their entire careers, and of course, Nicki Minaj, and facts. now this Nicki. While many rappers and big players in the music industry like to choose what they say very carefully yeah. so that they don't mm -hmm. step on the wrong people's yeah. toes and potentially harm their own careers, yeah. Nicki clearly did not care about doing anything of this sort because out of nowhere on social media, yeah. she went on a massive rant yeah. about how disrespected she feels Lil yeah. Wayne has been. And yeah. beyond coming at Kendrick Lamar, who would... That's why I say, yo, Nicki Minaj is just walking around with her way more She's one of the last real ones. <laughs> Yeah. She's on the last real one. She talk how she feel. Uh, we know she's from Queens. Um, she doesn't feel like she could be, get blackballed. I've been trying to blackball me forever at this point. Yeah. And I'm still around, so I'm not scared of what you could do because whatever you could have did, you would have did it you by now. You did it by now. Um, so you're not as powerful as you think you is. I have the bars. I have people behind me. I have a voice. There's nothing I could do about it. I'm going to speak when I feel like speaking. Straight like that. Yeah. Was just her fellow Young Money member, Drake. Nikki directs all of this anger towards a larger force in the music industry mm. and the real person who has yeah. led the effort behind picking mm. the halftime show, which is none other than Jay Z. Yeah. As him and his Rock Look Nation imprint have been in charge of picking the halftime performance crazy. since the beginning of the 2020s decade. And so now, while Nikki said a lot about Jay Z, Kendrick, and what is really going on, because there is so much that she posted, to sum things up and to get to the point at the very mm. core of what she is saying. Nikki is claiming that Jay-Z has some serious beef with her, Drake, and Birdman. And mm. now, despite Jay-Z not actually having any sort of direct problem with Lil Wayne, because of his hatred for these people, ended up blocking Wayne from taking over the Super Bowl with his Young Money crew, all in this plot to get back at the people who he has actual issues with. And with all- That's where the game go. Um, yeah. If you stand next to my enemy, then- your you're casualty my enemy, of war. Your casualty of war. Yeah, you're my enemy now. You're my enemy. If I got beef with all the people that's around you, you're in that circle, then it's, I have to extend it towards you. Yeah. Me extending you olive branch is extending them an olive branch, and I ain't trying to do I that. I ain't extending them I never knew Jay-Z and Birdman to have beef. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Or really what the issue was. At that point, I know they was all getting money. It seemed like there was a kumbaya of getting money, we all doing As long as you getting money over there, <laughs> yeah. Don't come over here trying to get money. Yeah, it's crazy. All these posts, Nicki really did throw more heat towards Jay-Z here than most diss tracks these days seem to mm, say about other rappers. Okay, Nicki. Throwing out these claims about this under-the-table beef that Jay-Z has with all of these artists, to then her pretty much calling him a sellout with words Damn. that were a lot less forgiving for always siding with what feels like company. That was a bar. She said one took a knee, one took a bag. And you remember Jay-Z got the job during the Colin Kaepernick situation. Yeah. People said the NFL first called J.D., Jermaine Dupri, mm -hmm. for the for the Super Bowl halftime. Jay-Z called him like, yo, don't take that. We're not, we not rocking the I NFL I remember hearing right about now. that. And then Jay-Z ended up taking the deal. Taking I think the deal. Told, so that's why she said one took a knee, one took a bag. It's mm. a big difference. Even That's a bar right there. Yeah, that's a bar and powerful individuals over the actual will of the people in the hip-hop community. Nicki is calling out Jay-Z in a way that nobody else has even thought about in what feels like a super long time. And now beyond Nicki alone, with Birdman also coming to Wayne's mm, defense and posting about, about how unfair yeah. what is being done to him is, yeah. and other people like one of Wayne's go-to studio engineers posted and they were absolutely livid about this decision. 
What we definitely can say for sure is that people mm. surrounding Lil Wayne's camp. I can see why they'd be living about that. Decision. But what I was saying earlier, just for other people's defense, is two sides to the story. When did we start taking the Super Bowl and equating that with the artists that should be performing there when they performed in certain cities? We never did that until this recently. Yeah, yeah. But it's like one of those things, like, you know, people just feel like. This is my town. This is my city. Yeah. Uh, especially when you're an yeah. artist of such a yeah. large magnitude. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's not like just some local yokel. My thing is, if it wasn't Kendra Lamar, would it be so much fuss? Let's say it was the Beyonce. Let's say it was Taylor Swift. No one's Let's, fussing about either one of those. Why are we fussing? Because it's Kendrick Lamar. <laughs> I, only thing I can say is because it's the culture. If it's, it was Taylor Swift, who would be you saying Lil Wayne should be performing right now? If Beyonce was up there, who would say exactly? Is it because it's Kendrick? It's because so it's is Kendrick. it Kendrick hate? It's, man, they tied to him. Winning? Apparently, in this situation, you know what I'm saying. It, I don't think it matters if it was Kendrick or someone. Else. If it was Wayne, somebody mm. would be hating. It's always a hater. It's always going to be a hater. <laughs> It's just I didn't think masses furious, would be speaking on. I didn't think the masses would be speaking the masses on this are like this. speaking, and on they're this. speaking out like people are not holding back. They're no. not being like uh, I'm talking enigmatically. I don't want you to know what I'm saying. Really, yeah. you know what I'm saying? They just like nah, this some boy. Yeah. Like they sound like Kanye yeah. did back in the day. Yeah. Like they just yeah. take the mic, yeah. say what's on their mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They saying it with the, they saying it with their big bro. Big boy draws on like they straight like meaning it. You feel what I'm saying? Straight up. And then they want to fight you over if you don't agree with them. Yeah. yeah. Be like say something else. <laughs> yeah. And by this decision of leaving him off the Super Bowl lineup, but with all of this and with everything Nikki is throwing mm. out and all the confusion and mm. anger that seems to be around these people close to him, while they've seemingly told us a lot, it's honestly opened up only more questions. Like on stuff he had there was cute. So now in order was. to understand the full scope right of this mm -hmm. situation and truly uncover how Lil Wayne feels about Card all of this and who he's mm. actually mad at at the end of the day. We need to do some digging, and fortunately so is the rest of the internet world when it comes to trying to piece together this incredibly complicated situation. And now out of everything that could have helped us to give us some insight, nothing has been more telling than an interview Lil Wayne had on YG's podcast, which dates back six months ago. Yeah. During this episode on this show, Just six months Wayne ago. and YG talk about the fact that the Super Bowl is going to be played in New Orleans in mm -hmm. the year 2025, and then Wayne follows this up saying that it's his dream to perform at the show, and that he's hoping that whatever needs to yeah. be done to make that a reality ends up happening. And now this is not even the only Yeah, thing. I heard a, about that. That's just what anybody would want. That's almost like being a being a top talent in your hometown city is the number one draft pick and it had a chance to get you. And it'd be like, where you wanna go? I wanna stay in my hometown where I'm from. But people my whole life from elementary, middle school, high school, college been watching me ball. The and people I, who know me. Yes, and then they could come see me right up the road. In the big arena, I, so everyone goes. You hear everybody keep saying since LeBron said it, I'm going to go back home. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. That's it's what everybody facts. wants. That's what everybody He's wants. He's at home. Yeah, in my home. Um, there's no way that there's nobody who Lil Wayne was around as a kid. It's going to be all type of people that might be at the game that seen him as a teacher, a principal, mm -hmm. a fireman who was a part of his life coming up, who's going to be at this game. And it would mean a lot to him to perform in front of these people. In front of those people. To like, look where I came from. People thought look I wasn't going to make now. it. Look yeah. where I'm at now. I'm doing my thing. Um, and a lot of people wanted that moment for him. Um, seemed like nobody wanted it more than Nicki Minaj. Yeah. It's evident. Yeah. Recent clip that Wayne has expressed how badly he wants to perform recently. So now with this. Despite confusion and even people trying to revise and spin a narrative that, was a tough that song Wayne did too. not even care about this performance. This is clearly not the case because Wayne sounds so passionate and inspired about the Super Bowl in these interviews as he iterates the point over and over again about how special it would be for him to do it and how he's getting a new album ready to release around that so he can do everything Damn. in his power to make the moment his. So now knowing all this, this opens up an even more complicated rabbit hole of events because Facts. clearly Lil Wayne did want to do this show and as him and Jay-Z are supposedly pretty good friends. You would think that they would have had some sort of conversation about this, but in reality, none of this seems that simple, and it looks like this conversation just never even transpired, because as Jay-Z- It's like, yo, when somebody your man's in their position, you don't want to go up to them and act like you're begging. <laughs> no, you don't want to act like you're begging, but yeah. you, you want to make it known, like this is something that I want, you know what I'm saying? I he did a good job of making it known. It's like, yo, you my mans, you are a staple of hip hop, you know what I've done. I don't have to go run you my resume. You yeah. were there for my whole entire resume. Yeah, you were there for all of that. You remember. I don't have to tell you. You remember. You was there for it. So for me to come around you and be like, you remember I did this? Remember I did that? 
I'm pretty sure he know Jay-Z remember and I'm pretty sure he feel like he's not in a position where I have to sell you to what I did because I wanted legends and legends shouldn't have to sell you what they did. We all know what they did. Yeah. Um and he was such a legend, that's why we did the no ceilings mixtape. Because that was in the era where he was doing this where people feel like he should definitely be a part of the Super Bowl. Mm-hmm. He and Lil Wayne were literally hanging out together at Fanatics Fest at the in the middle 40. of August. Based on the videos and right pictures there. we saw of them hanging out with Khaled, Lil Baby, and just having a good time at this convention, they were clearly on good terms then. So then knowing this, that, so then knowing this, this leaves us with only one logical conclusion, which is Lil Wayne very well still may have been expecting a call to get asked to do this mm -hmm. and had absolutely no idea that he wasn't until Kendrick Lamar was announced. Mm -hmm. And adding a little more validity to this, as every other recent Super Bowl halftime performer has not been announced till at least the end of September in recent oh, years, that. but it's even been as far in November in some cases, mm -hmm. it seems pretty likely that Wayne was just waiting for a call and this was something that was on everybody around him's radar. But as mm -hmm. it- That's crazy. Um, 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 we were just saying that um, with the video we did yesterday. Uh -huh. We never see it announced so early. Not yeah. week one of yeah, the Super Bowl. Not week one so, of the season talking about the Super Bowl uh, 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 music halftime show is going to be this. Like, usually it'd be like uh, September, November. Monday Night Football, week one, was not even played when this announcement came out. Yeah. Yeah. So you, yeah, that's not what happened. So people feel like Little Wayne thought, all right, I'm, I got Have more some time. time. I could drop this album. Oh, you know wow, what I'm saying? Like, oh, he's still buzzing even after all this time, all these years. Yeah. Oh, we didn't think about it. Oh, we should give Wayne a call. Yeah, he didn't get a chance to do that. Wow. It came out that Kendrick Lamar was going to be doing the halftime show instead. Mm. It seems to have surprised him just like the rest of us, and of course shocked him, and this really seems like it's the case. But now, while we don't know further specifics on this moment, and diving into how Jay handled this with Wayne requires its own dedicated video, really, what we do know to add a little more context to the situation is how the super- People saying how he dealt with Wayne. I'm pretty sure more than Wayne wanted this performance. <laughs> yeah. And he trying to say, Wayne's the only one that wanted this because Lujan. No. People don't care where it was at. People wanted this. If anybody that knew Jay-Z feel like Jay-Z owed them this moment for them to shine. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And that's what happens when you end up at the top. It's lonely up there. It's definitely lonely. Super Bowl halftime show is actually picked. And beyond this, the process that Jay-Z leads and has to go through to get somebody there. And this can give us some important context to everything. Because before we can flip out on Jay-Z for disrespecting Wayne and like Nicki mm. says, having this massive plot to destroy Young and Cash Money Records, we need to mm. note the people he has to present and get approved by to even have a halftime performance go down, which includes the NFL's director of entertainment, people from the NFL's in-house mm. production company, and then the director and producer of the halftime show, the companies who sponsor the show, which is going to be it's a lot of work in, uh, And then on top pieces. of all of this, even if all of that went through, this city itself still has to approve it. So now understanding this, and then being aware of Lil Wayne's recent performance track record at major events in terms of performing at industry functions, which for Wayne, had they want to make it seem like the decision came from all these group of people. I know this is a picture they want to paint. Yeah. There's one person that made that decision say, yay or nay. Yeah, it was like, that... it's a lot of moving pieces. <laughs> you know, these people have to go through here. They have to agree for it to make it here and there and there and there. Nah. There's one person that you nah. got to get the okay from. And once this one person say, okay, I don't know who that is. Is it Apple Music? Is it Super Bowl? The NFL Command? No, nah, it goes by, who got to ask? We already know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. We're not going to like, well, when you ask that ask. one person or group, then, you know what I'm saying, from there. Once they say this one person or this group of people say mm -hmm. yes, there's no one else you have to talk to. Yeah, the rest of everyone else is going to fall. Um, yeah, they're going to fall in suit. Yeah. It's, it's just how it works. You feel what I'm saying? Has not been seen as the best. It's from appearances at WWE events where he is missing every other sentence of his songs. <laughs> to even rehearsals he's had at award shows like the Grammys where he has been considered to be an absolute nightmare to work with. It seems like within the actual industry and within the people who control what goes down, Lil Wayne lacks the professionalism needed to play at the most televised event of the year. And when we look at Kendrick Lamar compared to this, as he never delivers a bad performance, brings a ton of energy to his sets, and always seems to be punctual and professional about everything he does. When you think of this, it does make sense from the perspective of Jay-Z when he- I ain't really let him paint that picture about Lil Wayne. I really yeah. never heard people trying to say Lil Wayne's hard to work with or bad to work with. Yeah. Um, if you get some bars, it's understandable. He has one of the hugest catalogs in the world. Yeah. How did you remember every song? 
Yeah, when you and put especially out, with him having his uh, epileptic issues and whatnot, yeah. you know what I'm saying? It's easy to start forgetting stuff. And being a rapper, I think he got in the game, he was like 12. It's and ridiculous. to now, and to remember every... This is different. I only got one album, two albums. I got to remember these 14, 15 songs when I got like, what you said, like 1,500 songs? It's like 1,500 songs. It's, a, it's, um, it's ridiculous. It's a different. So I wanted to paint that picture a little way. I really didn't hear that. Um, but I did hear people talking about uh, some people felt like Kendrick would have put on a better performance um, than Lil Wayne. I did hear uh, that argument. Yeah, I heard things of that nature too. Yeah. He has to go through all of these boardrooms and committees that Kendrick would be chosen over Lil Wayne and even the rest of Young Money considering all of the bad press that has been surrounding somebody like Drake's name mm -hmm. and while still. I'm not saying what is happening to Lil Wayne is right and depending on how Jay-Z navigated this situation with somebody who is supposed to be his friend, he very well could be in the wrong for how he handled it. At the end of- Now that I think about it, I'm kind of surprised that Kendrick Lamar got this Super Bowl uh, performance because when we was coming to Drake, uh, Kendrick Lamar beef, we was doing coverage of how so many people, the NFL, Apple, UMG, is invested into Drake. Yeah. Give him a big bag. Yeah. This is definitely not helping that bag or helping their artist who's Drake been running Apple for we don't know how long now. Yeah, you feel what I'm like saying? So I'm pretty sure, like we were just saying, if Jay Z had a check on all these people, I'm pretty sure Apple or this person or this person, <laughs> Nike, was not going against yeah, having Drake, at all. Kendrick Lamar there, who's bashing our product. We just dropped the line with Drake. Why would we want this going on? Not he's going to go on, but this is week one. This, we got to take this all the way to the Super Bowl of these headlines. And, and we know. We already know. We can assume what's going to happen. Yeah. I bet you they didn't think it was going to happen this quickly. It's crazy. Almost immediately. Dead, mm. While Wayne is being pitted against Jay-Z and Kendrick Lamar, I think it's safe to say that despite what people are trying to say and what everyone seems to be speculating, there is no reason related to this actual situation of mm. why Wayne should hate Kendrick Lamar for this, mm. unless he decides to use this moment to link back up with Drake and then just fight Lamar together over the shared things he has taken away from both of them. But Damn. just in terms of this situation in of itself, there is really nothing Kendrick could have done to help Wayne. And now again, I think Jay-Z's handling of this situation and his possible beef with Drake and Nicki and how it may relate back to Wayne really needs its own video to be processed and understood. Mm -hmm. As of now, in this moment, the there are so many people yeah. talking about Kendrick Lamar having this performance over Lil Wayne. Despite all of the drama and controversy, when you grasp the fact that the Super Bowl is watched by over 100 million people, and this crazy. is an event that Worldwide. millions of dollars go into when all things are considered, despite the connection between Wayne and his own city, Every other factor points to Kendrick Lamar easily being the better choice for this halftime show considering their track record as performers down. and Be also humble. faces that can represent hip hop to the entire world. But now with all of this only adding more fuel to the never ending tensions in the rap world as it is clear that people all over Lil Wayne's corner Be are dumb. furious about this decision. Fact. We are still yet to see who Lil Wayne decides to really target due to this situation and how it could create a much more complicated network of beefs between the biggest players in hip hop. So now with all of this said, let me know. Mm, what do you yeah. think of this situation? And who do you think is in the right? And who do you think is in the wrong? Mm. I can't wait to hear what you have to say. And now if you want to see how we got in the comment section. Yeah, they got five comments up. Yeah. Using the Super Bowl halftime show to diss Drake in the worst way mm. possible. Check out the suggested hundred million video. people. Hey, staying here. It's Trey TV. Let's get it. Now with I think this was a fun watch. Definitely. Definitely interesting. Definitely, Definitely. entertaining as well. It, I think it's cool to see that pe more people are vocal yeah. about how they feel about an artist than ever before. People are more willing to use a platform more than ever. Yeah, because it used to be like, oh, they felt this way privately. But they're more. it seems like they're more welcome to say, no, this person this and this person that. And yeah. I think that's hella dope. It's kind of wrong with Especially it. from a performance position, it, it make you feel like you're doing something and people appreciate it. Yeah, for sure. Um, I'm interested to know how Wayne feels, yeah. um, um, but you know what I'm saying? It's so many other people speaking. I'm yeah. sure he's just sitting back right now. If nothing else, he probably feel good about that, yeah. that people would stand on 10 toes and got yeah. his back, like the Nicki Minaj's in the yeah. game. Um, it's got to make you feel good. Yeah. What do you think about this? I think um, this is a crazy situation for Lil Wayne to be put in. Everyone's speaking on Lil Wayne, but Lil Wayne, uh, he cautiously said yeah. he wanted to be in it. Um, but if you would ask any artist... 
in America, if you want to be a part of the Super Bowl, they go over to say yes. Yeah. Um, like Lil Wayne. Um, to me, it's almost a good thing Jay Z went ahead and got it out the way. So at least he's not expecting or thinking maybe it's in cement. This is going to be at the Super Bowl. Just see what's going on. Um, there's nothing I can do. It's already uh, set in stone. It's telling me thinking, oh yeah, is it going to be me? It's not going to be me. Uh, it's a lot of football to go through to be sitting there wondering yeah. uh, back and forth. Um, at least we know who it is for the first time. They announced it um, early uh, in the game. Like I said, some people think Jay Z is gatekeeping. Um, well, nobody knows that, uh, but Jay Z and why he really uh, made that decision. To me, it makes sense. Kendrick Lamar is a top artist right now. He got the number one, two, three song in the world. Yeah. Um, a lot of people is rocking with his catalog. A lot of people are running uh, with him. Um, so it's all on how you're looking at the game. Um, I hope Jay Z not doing to what other people what he been saying was happening to him. And yeah, Beyonce. Happening to him and just... um, I don't think that would be right, but I think time would tell and more people speaking on I can't wait to hear a little Wayne uh, speak on it. No, knowing a little Wayne now, no, he's a humble guy. He's just going to be like, I wish I could have got it, but I moved on with my life. I don't yeah. see him pouting and crying like, yeah. that's, that's not, don't seem to be who he is. Um, the people speaking, I know that means a lot to him that people are speaking up in his defense to even think that he's worthy uh, for that situation. Uh, I think it was dope. I uh, can't wait to see when he finally comes out and put his quote because next interview, people ain't going to have a choice but to ask him you gotta exactly ask him. about this and how he felt. Um, shout out to Nicki Minaj. Everybody need Nick Minaj on your team when you go through something that got your back. I don't want to say yeah. nothing. It might seem like I'm a hater. I don't want to say I'm a hater named Kendrick Lamar at his moment. I want Kendrick Lamar to enjoy his moment. Um, but that's why you got friends and allies for it. They could say uh, what you can't say. Because mm -hmm. you're going to be looking at this hater. Shout out to Nicki Minaj. Shout out Birdman. Shout out Master P. Shout out Hurricane Chris. Shout out Boosie. Uh, everybody mm -hmm. that, stuck, that got stood out, up stood and said up, something. Uh, for Lil Wayne. He's a GOAT. He's a legend out here. He didn't get this year. But hopefully he'll get one soon because the outcry people know that people care about Lil Wayne performing at yeah. the Super Bowl. People care about Nicki performing at Super Bowl. Uh, people care about Drake uh, performing at Super Bowl. They have uh, the Young Money camp and the Young Money fans who want to see this because uh, they did run hip-hop for a little while there. Yeah, they had a nice run. Probably like a little decade run. <laughs> Yeah, between nice the three of them um, so people want to see that can't see can't wait to see what happened in the situation but until then it's your boy Trey TV in the mount care about Nicki performing that Super Bowl uh, people care about Drake uh, performing that Super Bowl they have uh, the Young Money camp and the Young Money fans who want to see this because uh, they did run hip hop for a little while there yeah, probably, they had like a nice run. Stri probably like a little decade run <laughs> yeah, between nice the three 